Oh, Lord. Can you see? Yeah. Here's one. Good. Got it. These guys are big. When the first puppy comes out of the den, I was surprised at how big they were at eight weeks. They look adorable, like cute little German Shepherd puppies. They're just beautiful. Just a girl. All right. Be ready, because I got one back in this hole. I'm going to go for these two. Pup number two, this one did try to bite me, so just be ready. You got him? OK, go for it. Go for wait. One and two, two. Here's pup number three, also tried to bite. All right, one more. It was such a runway of like puppy, 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 and blood, and vaccines, and needles, and there was just so much going on. I just didn't really have a good opportunity to soak in every single beautiful face. OK, first one is microchipped. All good for that one? Yep. Hey, Jen, we need to keep moving. We need to wait on this number two. We want to be as quick as possible to reduce their stress and get them back in the den so the adults can have access back to them. OK, Stevens, number two, is a boy. Physical exam is done. OK, you're number three? Number three. OK, number three is a boy, Tessa. So we end up having two males and two female pups. There's one that has a little bit darker chest, one that's got kind of a floppy ear. So they are kind of starting to develop individual characteristics. Good to go. Yeah, you two are good to go. OK, go ahead. Two pups coming back in. It was a great day today, even though the adults didn't lock in and the temperatures are way hotter than we would have liked them to be. All in all, our procedure was successful. Last pup going in. Last pup's in. Den door is shut. That was so amazing. They're super cute, pretty feisty. Everybody looks great, right? Yeah, everyone was healthy, chunky little monkeys. I'm a cat person, but more so than anything else, I'm a baby person. So it doesn't matter what baby it is, I'm going to fall in love with it. So um, these puppies absolutely fall into that category, and they were very, very cute. So now we get to start thinking about names. Yay. These puppies are going to play a, such an important role in the preservation of the species. So it's so important to make sure these puppies are healthy and we're doing everything we can. If it weren't for zoos, Mexican wolves would likely be extinct in the wild. This population has been struggling for a long time, and it is just finally starting to rebound. So every pup is extremely important to adding numbers to this population. It's not every day that you get to work with a species that is um, endangered or critically endangered. And to be able to do everything that we can to help this species in the wild is uh, really important to all of us. So we have our own little pack now. It's really exciting to see winter and storm. I mean, this was the formation of a wolf pack. That's what a wolf pack is, essentially, is a family.